So here we are in a drawing. Um, again, so this is the new origin block. We don't have any of the, uh, the, the big, the, the origin alignment settings that we had there. Um, it just, it's, again, it's just a big, a big space saver and we can just take advantage of the, of those preferences to have actually the, a, a lot of the, um, instead of doing it a, a kind of a one off there, it's, it's more of a, um, a pre, uh, set your origin alignment kind of across the board. Um, the, uh, here's your text entry stuff. So you can actually go in and, um, this is your shortcut. You can change the, you can change the color. You can add underline, you can do whatever you want. And then obviously in there, the preview, you can see how it, how it changed. Uh, the, the fraction, wow, it's actually a really bad color. You can't see that. Change that back to red, uh, the fraction stuff. So, um, you can actually change. Uh, in this shortcut toolbar, we'll just go through MB3. Um, here's all your fraction stuff, and you can change the the, the display of the fraction in the note uh, just just right here on the on the shortcut toolbar. Again, here's the symbol palette. This is all your most recently used symbols. Um, if 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 you if you go in here, and let's say you wanted to add one of these GDNT symbols onto your note, you just press insert. And there it is right here on on your note. Uh, if, and then if you go back in, that's your most recently used symbol. So if you're kind of going back, you, you want to add it to multiple notes. Um, there it is right there. And, and, and this will just keep populating with all the most recently used symbols that you have uh, um, that you just that you've inserted. Um, if you want to go up here, inserting a uh, an FCF. So if, if you want to if you want to create these and, and let's, let's just change one of these and add a little tolerance modifier here. And then you can actually also inherit it from a from a current feature control frame that you have already displayed on your note. And if you press OK, there it is. There it displays right right there on your note. Again, it's just it's if you're it gives you that uh, what the inherit setting is pretty nice is to display something that's already out there, but then it just also gives you that familiar environment that you have of already 